Hello, this is the West Country Tonight. The headlines this evening. Bristol and Exeter go head-to-head -head for a place in rugby's premiership. We've got all the action from a dramatic game. And hundreds of protesters turn out tonight over plans to build 750 homes in Taunton. Good evening. Bristol Rugby have been denied their dream of returning to the Premiership. They went into tonight's playoff final second leg at home to Exeter with a three-point deficit and failed to turn the tie around, eventually losing by 22 points. Here's Chris Spittles. The Championship trophy was again on display as the teams entered the Memorial Stadium cauldron. But the players were well aware that the ultimate prize extended beyond shiny silverware. As at Sandy Park last week, it was the Chiefs who dominated the opening exchanges and two Gareth Steenson penalties took their overall lead to nine points. Bristol hit back with the first try of the game. Neither side crossed the line last week, but seven days on, Adrian Jarvis broke through the Exeter defence before offloading to Luke Arscott. The conversion cut the gap to just two points, but Steenson was soon back in the groove and struck a monster penalty and then a drop goal to put the Chiefs back in control. Bristol hit back in the second half with a penalty from Adrian Jarvis. But when Jarvis then hit a post with another kick, they knew the game was up. Steenson took his personal haul over the two games to an incredible 33 points as the Chiefs clinched a place in the Premiership. Chris Spittles for the West Country tonight. To the rest of the day's news, and as you may have seen on the national news, a West Country Marine killed in Afghanistan was repatriated today. Corporal Stephen Walker from Exmouth was killed in an explosion last Friday. Cordelia Lynch reports. The sombre but proud chime of the bells of Wooden Bassett. The heartbeat of a town honouring the passing of two heroes. Corporal Stephen Walker of 40 Commando and Chief Petty Officer Andrew Brooks. A familiar scene for the people of this town, a very new grief for the families. And in the words of Corporal Stephen Walker's wife Leona, the passing of a perfect soulmate and a great father to their daughter Greer. Killed whilst on foot patrol in Helmand province in Afghanistan, he had 20 years of experience. A man so accomplished, his commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Paul James, said he was probably his best corporal. Brave, loyal and utterly dedicated. He really epitomised everything that is important in, in the Marines and led his, uh, his team very, very well indeed. And Paul James, will, his commanding officer, speaks so highly of him. And they are going to miss a man of his experience. Corporal Stephen Walker's death brings the number of British servicemen killed in Afghanistan to 286. Many have passed through this town. Each specially honoured for the ultimate sacrifice so many have now made. Cordelia Lynch in Wooden Bassett for the West Country tonight. The repatriation there of Corporal Stephen Walker. Next tonight, hundreds of people have been protesting at County Hall in Taunton over plans to build 750 new homes. Councillors are discussing proposals for the houses on Vivery Green Wedge. Campaigners say the site is on Greenbelt land. They're concerned the development may be fast-tracked by the council. It's easily accessible from right from the centre of Taunton, so you can walk the fields and, and you feel like you're in your countryside, even though you're only half a mile from town. We have picnics, we play cricket, we play football, we use it all the time. The prevailing wind comes in from the countryside, Taunton's in a bowl, it keeps the town fresh and uh, gives us fresh air and it's a valuable piece of agricultural land. 
Food giant Kraft has had its knuckles wrapped by the city's takeover watchdog. It's after it promised to keep the Cadbury's factory at Canesham open. The American firm had said it would remain open in its offer documents, only to announce after the takeover that it would actually close, costing 400 jobs. Plans for a new multi-million pound football stadium for Bristol City are a step closer tonight. The 30,000 seat venue is being proposed at Ashton Vale. Today, North Somerset councillors approved planning permission for an access road to the stadium by a majority of 10 to 1. It's a crucial step forward for the project, though the final decision lies with the Secretary of State. This evening, reaction to the approval was mixed. We're absolutely delighted. This is a very important decision. It's great news for the city of Bristol. It's great news for Bristol City Football Club. Uh, what we are able to deliver now will be a new regional stadium for the city of Bristol and a new home for Bristol City Football Club. So it's great news this evening, yes. The principle of the stadium is excellent. Uh, the problem is that it has access off a B road. And access is key to building a stadium. You've got to get people into it and out of it and we're in a situation where that is going to be difficult and problematic. It's uh, time for the weather now. Here's Alex. ITV West Regional Weather. Sponsored by Braces Bread. Enough said. Hello, good evening. Although it'll be feeling much cooler over the next few days, make the most of the sunshine tomorrow and Friday because by the weekend things will be looking a fair bit cloudier and there will be some rain at times as well, some of it on the heavy side. That really is the situation tonight. Nothing really too heavy. We've had a band of showers moving southwards in the last few hours and during the second half of the night that will clear through. The clouds breaking up pretty nicely and this will allow the temperature to drop down into single figures, lows of around 8 degrees Celsius. It does mean a fairly bright start tomorrow with those clear breaks already in place, so some decent sunny spells and in fact the sunshine should improve a little bit as we head into the afternoon, although the temperature on the cool side despite the sunshine 15 to 18 degrees Celsius. The wind's fairly light and variable. On to the outlook. Well, on Friday, it's going to be a pretty nice day. In fact, lots of sunshine around. Temperature up to around 17 degrees Celsius, but back down to 15 on Saturday as we get uh, more unsettled conditions pushing in, uh, turning cloudy and pretty wet at times for much of the day. As for Sunday, turning back fine, but we will see rain arriving later on. Sponsored by Braces Bread. Enough said. The film Eyes Wide Shut is on next on ITV1. From all of us here, good night. <laughs>